That was really weird because the audition originally for or or, uh, the original. No way. Yeah, the which I'm assuming it was with Larry David, right? Well, I auditioned for both parts with Larry David, but one I didn't know Larry. Mm-hmm. The, the the first time when I auditioned for Kramer, mm-hmm. that was a very well. No, when I auditioned for Kramer, I guess no, it was just an audition that I I did, and I I, I had known Michael. We, Michael and I were friends from before mm-hmm. because. We had always auditioned for the same parts. Okay, makes you know, sense. For, year, for for at least a year. Yeah. I would always see him. And then one time, we were cast as brothers in a, in a sitcom, a restaurant sitcom, I don't know. We robbed the place. We were two brothers who robbed uh, the restaurant. Uh, so he knew me, and Larry David knew my acting, and he said that I looked more like um, Kramer than... Michael Richards did. Mm-hmm. I looked like a, a hippie. What, what they were looking for. What they were looking for. Yeah. But when, uh, so I just auditioned and didn't get the part, just another audition. But um, when I saw Michael Richards, when I saw the show and I and I saw who got the part, because mm-hmm. I always do that. Yeah, right. Mm-hmm. I watched to see who got the part. He got the part. <laughs> what? <laughs> 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 uh, I just don't believe it, you know. Yeah, so, right. but when I, when I saw him, I said, "No, nah, they picked the right guy." Mm. I mean, when he comes through the door, right? You were happy for him. I was. Yes, yeah. I was. Yeah. You know. yeah. uh, so I, I, you know, I don't mind not getting, except when it's you know, I don't, <laughs> when it's the wrong guy. Yeah, when it's the wrong guy. Yeah, yeah. yeah I yeah. got the wrong guy. <laughs> so, uh, so that was that. But then when Michael. And uh, M- M- Michael Richards recommended me to, to imitate him. Mm. So it was Michael who said, hey, why don't you get Larry to okay. do it? What's this about? Levels. <laughs> Levels? Yeah, getting rid of all my, uh, all my furniture. All of it. I am building levels <laughs> with steps completely carpeted. <laughs> So they called me in. But here's the insult. Again, the insult. Oh, the, I don't know. What did, what did, my, what did Marlon Brando say at the end of, of Apocalypse Now? The humanity. <laughs> the humanity. <laughs> um, so uh, I, I go in for the audition. So now I knew the character. I mean, yeah. I'd seen him. Yeah. So I did my Michael Richards mm-hmm. thing. But here's the insult. I sat there and there was six other people and they were all there to audition for Tom Pepper. And none of them looked like Michael Richards. There was a fat guy, there was a bald guy, there was a short guy. <laughs> and I'm going, what the hell, I'm insulted. Come on, man, give me some competition. I got this. I got this. I was here first. Yeah. I was up for the original. Yeah, you were the... Who the, who the hell are you people? <laughs> Who's casting this? Who the hell is... <laughs> I really had an attitude about that, yeah, as yeah. you can see. Yeah, 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 yeah. So uh, I auditioned. I go back. And then about uh, two days later, they said, that you got a call back. I said, oh, cool. Well, they, they finally you know, woke up. I go back. It's five different guys. A bald guy, a fat guy, a short guy. And it's, I'm Michael Richards. I am Tom Pepper. I auditioned five times. Unbelievable. And each time, nobody looked like Michael Richards except me. All different each time. Wow. Now, in the room, so if you, you're supposed to get paid after three. You, oh. If you they call you in the fourth, you get paid for it. Oh, interesting. So I didn't even bother with that. But each time I knew some of the people in the room, and it was always the same room, and it was always the same people. There was four people. There was Seinfeld. There was uh, Alexander. Uh, uh, Jason Alexander. Uh, Jason Alexander. A guy who obviously was the director. You can always tell them. They're dressed different, and they act different. They just... <laughs> they just Different, and uh, and then a, a fourth guy. I don't. I didn't know who he was. He was wearing glasses, and and he never said anything, except he would say, uh, "Go out and come in the door again." That was part of the audition. Mm-hmm. It's coming in like Michael yeah. in the door. 
So he said, go out and come in again. And I go, okay. And I go out and come in again and then I do the scene. That was all he ever, ever said. And um, each time I went there, all five times, he said the exact same thing mm. each time. Now, the insulting part of it plus was the fact that when you go out of that door to come in again, that was in the waiting room where everybody is waiting to come in and there's a secretary out there. Yeah. And I didn't see when I was auditioning uh, or, or waiting while somebody else went in, mm -hmm. nobody else came out and went in. Huh. Yeah. Hmm. So uh, each time I went out, you, you would say, they see the quizzical look. What the, what the hell is he doing? <laughs> I mean, maybe they, well, maybe he's coming in like Michael. Why wasn't I asked? Or will I be asked? So finally, I, on the fifth day, the fifth audition, when he said for me to come in again, because I swore to myself, I'm going to unload on this guy. <laughs> <laughs> if he tells me to come in once more, I'm going to unload, because I'm getting insulted, I'm getting weird. Uh, so I said, okay. So when I go out and I said to the secretary, I said, who's the guy with the glasses? <laughs> Not out here. And he says, that's Larry Davis. <laughs>